Hi, this is Mace Matthew, and today I'm going to make these uh, just a bead earring that you basically just have, need a little bit of wire and a bead, and you can make either a post style earring or you can also make a ear hook style earring. It's all one piece of wire and one bead, and it's a really simple project, but it's it, it has some nice results. You could do it with pearls or crystals or gemstones or anything that you like. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that the wire fits through your bead. So I'm going to show you how to do it with an ear hook and I'm also going to show you how to do it with just a post style earring. So let's get started. I'm working with about three quarters of a foot of 20 gauge wire. You can use a uh, down to a 22 but I wouldn't go below that because it might be a bit too fine and it could actually pull through your ear. So you're going to need to get a a bead that has a fairly good size hole that can accommodate your your wire. I'm going to start with the hook style and then I will uh, do the post style next. They're very similar, the only difference is this tail is going to be a bit longer and you'll see that in a moment. I'm going to take probably about an inch and a quarter and you can measure that if you want. So about that's about an inch and a quarter right there and just do a 90 degree angle at your wire like that and then at that point you're just going to start to do a bit of a coil so I'm just going to use my pliers and keeping it at a 90 degree angle I'm going to be doing it at the top of it and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute so see this is what you're, you're, you're doing and then if you want you can just grab hold of the chain nose pliers if you're worried about marking your your wire then you can just tape your pliers or you can also use like a wire straightening plier and then just grab hold of them and that won't mark your wire at all but I'm not too worried about that because I, the bead is going to be in there anyway so it's going to cover up any marks that I make or I hope it will so now I'm just going to con continue wrapping the coil now you can wrap that as loose or as tight as you want it's really up to what you what you prefer I'm doing it a little bit tighter because I just like the look of it. And just make sure that stays. If you look, it's at the center. Okay? So continue on. And you're going to gauge your bead. You're going to measure your bead to make sure that you're, it's going to fit properly. So every once in a while, just look at your bead and look at the size of it and see how close it is. And I would say that's pretty close but maybe maybe just one more coil so okay so now that that is pretty much what I want to do um, take my finger and I'm going to just bring the coils up like around because it's going to come around the, the bead so you're making like a little bit of a cup so you're kind of bringing it up like that, see? So that's what you would have. And then just take your bead and string it on. And it's going to be, it should be able to slide right into that center with ease. And if not, just go back and make the, a few more coils. Okay? So that's what you would have. You can push those wires up around your bead a little bit more, but I wouldn't do too much adjustment until you get the other, this part of the wire wrapped. And you need a, a, a fair bit of wire left over in the top, so I probably have about two and a half inches, three inches up top to continue to wrap. So now that I have that in there, I'm just going to just wrap that wire around the bead. Okay. I want to hide it sort of in already the coils. I don't want a piece of cut wire at the top that you can see. I want it sort of at the side so when I do um, stop coiling it, it's it's sort of hidden away. It's not as obvious. Okay, so just continue on until you've used up that wire. And there, I'm just going to push that wire in with my pliers alright so this is what you would have 
Now if you want, you can go in and you can just take your pliers or your fingers and you can just start to move those wires a little bit to make it, you know, cup it a little bit more. So that's what you would have. And then to finish this off, we already have this tail here. So I'm just going to make this into an ear wire, like a hook. So I'm just going to go up 90 degree angle, like that. So that's what I would have. You can take a Sharpie or something like that. I just have this wooden, this wooden dowel. I'm just going to put it right around there. Sharpie is actually perfect. Because, so that's what I would have. Make that little curve and then just come to the end and do a little bit of a... So this is what you would have. Make sure that you finish the end. So you just would take a jewelry file or a nail file, a, a metal nail file, and then you would file that until it's not sharp anymore. And then, it, because otherwise it might cut your ear. So that would be your completed earring. Now you want to make sure that you're working with a, a wire that's a bit stiff. A dead st soft wire is a bit too soft, so you want to make sure that maybe um, you could uh, use your wire straightening pliers or you could um, use a half hard wire to make this earring. The other way to do it is just do a shorter, if you notice I've just done a shorter tail, the exact same thing. I've made my, my cup and then just again If the wire is too long, then all you need to do is trim it back. And then you would have your post earring. And then all you need to do now is file the end of it so that it's easy. And if that if the post is too long, no problem, just trim it off. Trim it off to the length you like. And you're going to need an ear backing in order to um, to wear these. So this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.